On the 12th day of Christmas, T-Rex came to me, crapped right on top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Jurassic World Alive. Here we are, it's winter in it, all cold, just been out, been to see the dentist, as, as you do, you know. It were like, okay, today I want to say this is the first of three, three. Are you ready for it? Three. Episodes of the Game Boomer Channel. Yeah, we land that now. <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm pretty, I, I, there's a load of stuff that's happened. Jurassic World Alive, Jurassic World The Game, and Hungry Shark Evolution. <laughs> but we're, we're focusing on Jurassic World Alive, but I'm excited because I'm just going to sit down and do this today. Um, so the reason why there hasn't been videos so much on the channel recently um, is because I've been working on something and it's, been t it's taken a while to edit. Like a long time, not, it's nothing too crazy, but at the same time, there's a lot of footage to go through and it's like, wow, it's been a couple of days and I still haven't finished this. <laughs> Plus, I know real life happens, but in Jurassic World Alive, guys, oh, Red Wave BG. Oh, should we do it? Should we accept? Should we accept Red Wave? Who, who is, is he, is he part of my alliance? <laughs> I've invited him to my alliance. <laughs> Where's this environment of so yeah. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean that. But so um, we have had a clear out in our alliance in Jurassic World Alive for good reason because there's a lot of people that like they kind of contributed to you know the the missions, but then also didn't really contribute to the tournament. I have no idea why. I'm so sorry if you were kicked, but why the hell did you not just go and battle tournaments and even just click enter? You click enter and you get your cups. Simple as, you don't even need to win 10 miles, but like people weren't even doing that. Um, but, but we got some new people in. Let's have a look. Tournament ended 44, what, 442,000 cups, taking us to tier eight. You know what that means guys? We were only like 40, I think 48 is the next uh, sort of line. So we were close to the second highest, um, but Tier 8 is special for a reason. First, I'm going to collect this. 75 bucks. I actually had quite a lot of fun with this. Uh, like, I got, I was able to see on a level playing field what it was like to have a Mono Lorian and what it was like to have a Mammalania. Um, those are kind of boss. Like, that's my perfect team right there. If I could, this is what it would be. Um, so, well, I didn't really do too many battles because I've already got so much, so much spare time. But 75. Also, guys, link in the description down below because I love you. I know there's already people that, are, that have already clicked through this video who post it on their Facebook pages and like, yeah, here you go, guys. You're welcome. And they post my link and I don't even credit. You buggers, you. <laughs> They're like, and then everyone in the Facebook groups is like, oh, you're legend MVP. You. How dare you. That was my link, and you go take the credit for my link. Ooh. <laughs> but no, it's fine, it's fine, it's all forgiven, whatever, whatever. But if you go to the link down in the description below, open or click that link on the device that you play Jurassic World Alive, make sure Jurassic World Alive is not open, and you will get, I think it's 100 free books or 50 free books, something like that, either way. So here it is. Reward tier eight. Are you ready? I'm hoping I'm right because I, I don't get it. I wish you could see who was like the top contributors because I'd love to dole out some like upgrades, you know, veteran and, uh, you know, up upgrading some people ranks in the, um, in the group. But look at that. 1,250 Coolosaurus. That's okay. I've got plenty of that. 1,250 Sonorasaurus. Is it Sonosaurus? Sonor Sonorasaurus. Sonorasaurus. That must be it. So that's the creature that is going to get the new hybrid. And the new hybrid is... But a drum roll, please! Oh, and I just broke it. <laughs> Damn it, I just broke it when it was like... Hey! <laughs> there it is, butt face. Schoonosaurus is here. That is the first time in our alliance that we've got Unique A or whatever it is. And I managed to unlock it. And uh, Please collect it. Oh, if I clicked super quick, could I have got it again? That would have been good. So we have, I mean, we've got a new update in the game too. Uh, this is my new team. Uh, I switched out, I can't remember what it was. Um, I think it was uh, Tenoto Rex. I swapped out Tenoto Rex 
for gri grip or griper lift, griper lift. Just because I feel like griper lift, you know, his, his value is in the counter and you're guaranteed to survive the first hit, do a counter, you know, go for your shield and ferocious strike, then get your heal off, probably get another counter. So you're gonna, like, unless they've got immunity or some sort of resistance to rendering, you're gonna get like half damage off. Uh, which is more than I could say for Tonotosaurus, Tonotorex. Um, but there was a new update and released a few new creatures, uh, as well as the new boss, which we've already seen. Um, but what else have we unlocked down here? That's right. So there's there's a couple we haven't seen yet. Um, this guy, this guy's hybrid or creature or whatever, I have, has not been unlocked. I cannot wait. We have a super evil Fluffy. Um, I wonder if Ludia were like, oh, he really likes... He really likes that dinosaur, but oh, sorry, creature, and he can't use it because it's not really that good. So it'll be interesting to see how good this thing is. Because I've got loads of that. So we have the new one, which is the Gallimimus, I the Aquilimimus. Aquilimimus! Um, I think that's one of the eagles. It's, it's, it's the Hast, Hast Eagle, I think it is. Or Hast Eagle Gen 2, because it's already a, an epic or whatever. That's it. Uh, this thing does not have a hybrid, so it's not that. Uh, I bumped into this the other day, like, I think twice. Uh, the Megastotherium. I thought it was a hybrid, so I wasn't too fussed on darting it. But it was... These, uh, like, the walking animations to dart aren't too hard, so... Oh, look at his face. Megastotherium. What do you have? Uh, fear Strike, Armor Piercing Impact, Render Encounter. Swap in Ferocity. You don't see that too often. I think maybe Tyranodon has it and Majungasaur, but they're the only ones I know that have swap in ferocity. And it can't be sped reduced everywhere all the time. Okay, thank you. Um, and of course, finally, I mean, all you want to do with these, I mean, if you don't use the uniques, that's fine. All you want is it to have it unlocked. And here we are. Don't, re don't even need to waste the coin for Skunosaurus or whatever, Sonosaurus, to get it to level 15, is it? To start hybridizing stuff. So Skunosaurus. Done and done! There it is! Unique unlock! Skunosaurus Gouges! 44,940. So apparently this is like the new Ardentus Maxima. Because it has 30% armor. 30% is pretty good! 20% <laughs> crit chance. Very good too. 107 speed. I mean, well, it's a sauropod. It's not going to be that great, is it? Health. Health looks alright and attack looks alright. But I have not checked its moves. I'm not a pro here, so Resilient Strike. Okay, so it cleanses itself if there's any distraction. Group Decelerating. So it's very like Ardennis Maxima. Instant Invincibility, very like Ardennis Maxima. Except for instead of like shattering, it has Group Distraction. Target all opponents. So it's immune to stun, yeah, that's fine. Immune to taunt. And it's, ah, interesting. Unlike Ardennis Maxima, it's not immune to speed reduction, which, you know, who really cares? Does have the 50%? Uh, it's okay. Maybe there's some... There'll be some people out there that can definitely use it. But for me, it's kind of okay. I, I'm just glad I've got it unlocked because I, I didn't want to waste the coin to get those dinosaurs to level 20. Never mind. We are two thirds of the way to get the Hadrosaur looks though. So that's going to be the next one we're going to unlock. So there's also, I've seen people unlock, wait, what's this one? Oh, Acrocanthosaurus, Ac Acanthosops or whatever it is, Acanthops. And this thing, bloody hell, this ugly bugger. <laughs> the reindeer sloth. Um, I don't even know, I don't even bump into, the, I've seen the sloth uh, every now and again, but I don't go actively go out to hunt it, unfortunately. If I do see it, I'm like, eh, I don't really care. <laughs> Maybe that has a hybrid with something, but we've also got... I mean, what's this thing? That's, it has to be Tupa, right? Tupandaculus. Tupandaculus finally has a hybrid. Um, and I've got so much of that DNA. So that's 40,000, but on 70,000, I'd rather spend that coin on something else. Not that this, you know, this could be really good. It is unique after all. I do like its design, actually. I quite like the bird with the crest. It's like a, it's like a flying emu. So we are still missing nine dinosaurs, though. Just when it was like one, I was missing one dinosaur. That's Hadrosaur looks. Boom! They add more in, which is good because, you know, the game's always being updating and such. But let's have a look. I And yes, this, I'm also in Gyrosphere Depot. So 
That's good too. Hold on. Let's say, can we have a look at what's coming up? Thing. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go from December 7th to December 13th. Here it is. Here's the events. They are still sending me this. So thank you, Lydia. Um, it kind of doesn't seem too interesting. Uh, Wednesday to Friday, we have no Zootoceratops. So that's good. But out of everything else, even the, the Saturday and Sunday dinosaurs aren't too great. We've got on Friday a, um, oh, that's that new hybrid that's just been released, the Gallimimus and the Hast Eagle Gen 2, I think that is. Again, not amazing. Um, yeah, I'd say uh, the one thing is to go for is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You probably want to go for Nozuda Ceratops, at least that's what I'm going to do. And then Saturday, Sunday, Sinoceratops I do not need because I got plenty of that and, and anything it hybridizes into I've got. Uh, Stingy Moloch, well that's still the bloomin' event thing that you get every day, 100 DNA. Oh no, it's a mammoth now. Oh, my bad. Okay, well we'll definitely take that. But uh, Stingy Moloch, <laughs> how many, how much DNA do I have of that thing? This is what happens when a dinosaur that you do not need becomes the weekly or daily uh, DNA dinosaur you get. There you go, 20,000, 20 freaking thousand Stingy Moloch DNA. Does it, does it go into anything yet? Anything? Oh, Paramoloch, okay, Paramoloch. And Paramoloch goes into Turamoloch, ah. So people have been getting it that way. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I take it back, Stingy Moloch was good. <laughs> but really, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Sinoceratops not gonna get, Stingy Moloch not gonna get. It's Griper Sutures. I'm really thinking about uh, using Gripolith as my, as one of my team, like investing a lot of boosts into it. And the thing is though, it used to be you would heal depending on your max health, but I mean, for a long time it's changed. It's now your attack. So I don't think there's any point speeding it up. No point speeding up. I mean, the only positive you'd get from out speeding something is getting ferocious defense up, I guess. But then you're gonna go for great emergency heal anyway, so that's priority. So speed does not have to be a thing. I could go for 15-15 in even spread for health and attack. I mean, I, I can't because I don't have that. But I'm just wondering, I, I think you, we, you need the health to survive, but you also need the attack to heal yourself. So it, it's gotta be a mixture, I think. I'm gonna mix it up between that, but he's definitely, as soon as I get 120,000, I mean, how much fusions can I have? Ooh. Well, you know what? We may as well. We may as well. Oh, two fitties. Two fitties. Lovely. That's 160 added. So I don't know how much DNA we're gonna need. Uh, ooh, look at that, that thing. Oh, might as well just fuse you like 50 God knows times. I got 100 on this. I was like, whoa. Not on this one in particular, but in the past. Like, I've never seen 100 in such a long time. <laughs> but when I could get that on something like this. Um, so we'll fuse that again. Oh, come on. Five. I got 20 each time average. Mm. Okay, so we'll do one more pop. So 620. So we're probably, after this, we're probably going to 80, 70. Very good. Oh, that was a good one. Whoa. That's very good. <laughs> oh. oh, we don't need it, do we? We don't need it all the way, but we probably need 2,500. It looks like 80, 70. Another good one. Is that about 2,000? No, never mind. <laughs> no idea. Well, I think it was 2,000. I saw nines and I was like, ooh, maybe we're near 2,000. Uh, okay, so the final pop. What can we get? More than 100. Come on, more than 100. N never mind, 80. That was awful. Oh my god. Yeah, when I thought I thought we were guaranteed to like, oh yeah, we'll get to level 28. Nah. <laughs> So we ran out of Gripo, but this weekend we'll get it. Uh, another dinosaur that was uh, that I think a lot of people are needing now for the new um, the new boss is Gemini Titan. And Gemini Titan was a dinosaur that I was having in my team for a long time, but it just I could never boost it to to a point where it felt like it was good, even at level 27. Um, but we were lucky enough to get Diplodocus in the last week's event. And I, I made sure to go out and dot as many as I could. <laughs> However, don't have as much uh, Kool-Aid DNA, unfortunately. So I can't do anything with that. But let's go. Actually, I kind of want to open 14 bucks for one hour. We may as well speed it up. For, I mean, I have 17,000 bucks. I don't spend bucks on anything. Actu act actually, uh, I accidentally bought, I was just clicking. I wasn't looking at my phone and I was trying to get the free incubator. 
and then I was clicking the middle. You know, you, you just, you do that, you click this, don't you? You just click to collect all the rewards, right? I was just doing that, and then the rewards ended, and I bought a, th a, a rare incubator for a thousand bucks. I was like, oh god. <laughs> oh. Anyway, anything good? Ooh, Master, ooh, the Hast Eagle, that's good. But how about we do a battle? We're in a gyrosphere arena. Don't know how I did it. I think I just, I think what happened was I just decided to put my boosts on stuff. And once I did, I went bloop, straight into gyrosphere. Um, please be Morton Rex. I love getting Morton Rex. Yeah, go! <laughs> that's a good team. Magnetator is one of my booster creatures. Utaran X is boosted. Morton Rex is boosted. The only one who isn't boosted is Ardennes Maxima. That's the only one. Come on, Morton Rex. Oh, I was hoping it would be this matchup. Oh, oh, I love doing this. I love doing this. Because he would put him out first thing. Yes, I'm going to outspeed something. And like, I'm basically going to kill whatever comes out. Are you? If we get a crit, he's dead. Oh, no! Oh, damn it. Damn it. 40% chance. Oh, I love wrecking Magnetators. It's like, bam! However, he can outspeed most things. What's his attack? Whoa, 2,000! Uh, we're gonna have to fire off more. I'm so sorry, buddy. So sorry. Two <gasps> I mean, I guess that's yeah. I guess two thousand's about right. Um, out of all my creatures, um, I, I, the, what I want to take, I guess ah, uh, it's hard, right? Because I've already lost one, and I can only lose one more before I'm in danger territory. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for the big hit. Yeah, he's gonna go for ferocious or fierce rampage. That's fair enough. I'd rather take that hit on an Ardent. He's probably going to have a Thordor or something that can easy outspeed me. I mean, to be honest, I've got no boosts on this thing at all. So if I'd killed Magnetator, I would have been in a good uh, like situation to win this. However, I don't think I'm in a good situation. Yeah, the Trico. Trico's probably going to outspeed. And it'll have 2,600. Oh my god. Wow, yeah. Um, this one's tough. What do I go for here? Magnetator would be good. However, I'm going to go for Utaranex. Utaranex. Um, I'm just going to go for this hit. Um, this is interesting. Because he's definitely going to go for his slowdown. Now, do I have armor? I don't even have armor, so this is going to do a lot of damage. It's like 3,000 and odd. Um, three, oh, 4,000, basically. So, chances are he's probably going to have like someone to swap in and do a hit like a Draco Rex or something and that's probably what he's going to do no goes for instant invincibility okay he's not immune to stun if I remember right no he's only immune to invulnerable uh, but if he does get the counter off which we, okay so this is this is where it's all or nothing I guess because he's just going to do a big oh no oh he didn't switch oh never mind no okay okay what could he have to outspeed me? Did he did he really put his fastest out first? His 156 like mine magnetator? Now this is this is crucial. Because if he switches out. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna Yeah, I thought he'd switch. I thought he'd switch. Right. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So his his tri Tristornix is dead. Uh we do get distraction. Is it a hundred percent distraction? I'm not even immune to it. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Like, what can he do? He could go for a deliberate... No, he can't do anything. He's dead. Okay, he's dead. Uh, do I kill him in one? Ah, leave him with 18 health. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, don't tell me I could have got a crit with it. Okay, so it depends what his final creature is. And it's an odd in his Maxima. Now, is it, if it's fully done in health, we're, we're done. Uh, we're done, I think, here. Yeah, we're done. Unless we get a crit here, we're done. Uh, don't get a crit there, and that's it. Well, well done. Well played. Well played. There's nothing I... I if I had um, my... What's it called? Yeah, if I had my distraction here, I could have been in with a chance. Maybe might win with a crit, but apart from that, we've lost. Please be crit. Yeah, well played. Well played. Well played. It's a shame I didn't get the crits when I needed them. Uh, I don't even know if Morton had got the crit and killed him. Whether or not I would have won anyway? Well, there you go. There you go. That, that wasn't too bad. That was quite close considering. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I just kind of wanted to jump on here, show that we, like, say thank you to my line. Thank you, well done, those who participated. Uh, I'm sure pretty much everybody did. Um, and we, I, th I think I got, like, loads of the other 
because you you collect from this, don't you? You get your cups and your league and stuff on the leaderboard and stuff, such like that. But anyway, if you enjoyed that video, guys, leave a like. Don't forget, in the description below, use that link. Your Facebook users. <laughs> oh, copy paste. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I'd rather more people uh, like got books in the game because books are hard to come by. Um, but I, I still, I kind of want to do a live stream where we just go through, like we just do all day. And I just spent all my books speeding up incubators because that's the best way in this game to like use your books is to speed up the incubators because you get more boosts that way. You probably get more DNA that way as well, let's be fair. Um, I mean, if you are going to do that. 17,000 books, let's see how long that could last us. I mean, what is it? I'll put in for a three hour right now. That's 30. So we do 10 of those, 300, 100 of those, 3,000. Uh, yeah, so we've got 100, 200, 300. Uh, 405, we got, like, we could open 500 three-hour incub incubators, each one giving you, let's say, like, one boost, so it's, like, 500 boosts, so it's at least five boosts on something, maybe, and maybe even more. Anyway, sorry, I've been yabbering on, I got more videos to crack on with anyway, but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.